So if you look at the lumbar again, if you remember what we said, we eat breakfast at 7, lunch at 12, and dinner at 5. So we have 7 cervical vertebrae, 12 thoracic vertebrae, and we're going to have 5 lumbar vertebrae. Lumbar is really, really weight bearing. Look at the centrum here. Look at that body. It's a really, really thick body right there. Okay, so really, really thick body. These are going to be your transverse processes again. These right here are your superior articulating processes with facets right there. Superior articulating process with facets. And again, here's our spinous process right there. Spinous process. Again, vertebral foramen. And then, if you here's actually a better way. I would actually rather you look at the lamina and the pedicle on this one. If you look here, if I were to take and wrap around that part right there, again, it's that space between the spinous process and the trans, actually, actually go here, transverse process. This right here is actually called the lamina. Now, if I flip it around here, sorry guys, and I go in between the body and the transverse process, this chunk right there is actually called the pedicle, okay? So I just want to show you guys that. It's better seen on that. And again, I'm going to flip it over here so you can see a couple of parts. Again, that's the body. And right here is your inferior articulating process with facets. And again, inferior articulating process with facets. All right. And then again, vertebral canal where the spinal cord runs through. All right. What I want to do real quick, actually, before I move on, is if you notice here, I have uh, two uh, lumbar vertebrae. And if you notice right here, what I wanted to show you is these little things here. These are actually called the intervertebral discs right here. And this is actually the one act as the cushion, basically, a kind of like a shock absorber here. And they have this annulus fibrous tissue wrapping around it. It's kind of interweaved, really, really thick connective tissue. And then inside of it, you have a little gel thing called the nucleolus propulsus. And these basically, again, are basically designed to be a shock absorber and to act as a cushion. So whenever the actual vertebrae is being compressed, it helps to be able to allow for that compression to occur. And uh, one other thing I wanted to show you right here is if you look here, this guy right there, this is actually going to be called the intervertebral foramen. The intervertebral foramen is where your spinal nerves run through. Make sure you don't get that confused with the vertebral foramen right there. So this is the vertebral foramen, and this is the intervertebral foramen. Okay?